Hi, good Erev Shabbos to all you Putnis and Estrans out there. And um, Abigail, I didn't get to say good Shabbos on the phone. It's been very hectic and traveling. I mean, happy birthday. So, happy birthday to you. And uh, Shalamis, also, birthday, I think. I don't have my list in front of me. Whoever your birthday is, happy. Um, first of all, this is a nut shell. This is the outside of a nut. Also, this is the outside of a nut. I'm sorry. Is that out loud? So, nutshell. Uh, because we're going to be doing Torah in a nutshell. This week's Parsha is Parsha's Vayesha. Okay? So it's that uh, Yaakov is dwelling in the land and uh, it starts off that uh, he's got a favorite son whose name is Yosef. And he gives Yosef a big box of candy. No? Okay. Gives Yosef a big what? Okay. And, and he's going to and um, I'm sending you all of these uh, along with the video so that you can uh, color them. I only colored one of them, which you will see. I will send it. Um, so he the so his brothers were, were jealous because Daddy made it. it. Says Yaakov made the coat. Yaakov probably didn't spend much of his time making clothes. That was not the job of a man in those days. It certainly wasn't the job of the Gadol Hadar. But he made this coat for Yosef, and his brothers were jealous. As, you know, there's tension between the brothers of Leah and the brother and, and the sons of Leah and the at this point one son of Rachel because there's tension between the mothers. So he has, then has some dreams. And he dreams that... They had a whole bunch of uh, wheat bunches and they bowed down to him. Hi. Oh yeah, we're gonna bow down to you. <laughs> Fat chance, buddy. He's recording something. And then he had another dream, and his dream was that the sun and the moon, the stars, were all going to bow down to him. And who were the sun and the moon? Well, the sun obviously was Yaakov, the moon, a wife. So Rachel was already dead. So confusing. And the stars, of course, were the eleven, well, ten brothers, eleven, the camp in Yemen. So. This made them more, more you're going to be the ruler over us? And why was he telling them these dreams? If I'm going to have a dream where I become ruler over you, am I going to tell you? I mean, either it's going to happen or it's not. Why would I want to tell you? But there's a reason behind all of this. All things that appear to be bad in life all come together. So the brothers got mad at him and they decided to put him in a pit. In Hebrew we call it a boar. And you know what it's like down in there? Boring. That's your joke for the week. And then, uh, and then they took his coat and they covered it with goat's blood. And then they were going to show it to their father and say, "What do you think happened?" They don't want to go in the line and say, "Yosef got eaten by a by a lion," because that'd be a straight out lie. So they did a kind of a Story. They said, Papa Yaakov, what do you think happened to Yosef? Well, it's going to say he sees all this blood. You can't tell goat blood from wine from, from Yosef blood. So, uh, so Yosef got uh, sold to uh, some traders who took him down to Mitzrayim. And in Mitzrayim, he was sold to a man named Potiphar, who was the, the butcher. For uh, Paro. But then he got in trouble and again got thrown into a boar. And you know what it was like in there? Well, 
It was much bigger than this board because there were some other guys in there too. There was the Paro's butler and the Paro's baker. And Paro got mad at them because there was stuff in his wine and, and a stone. There was a fly in his wine and stone in his bread. So he got mad. So he threw them into jail. And then Yosef was down there with them and he had a dream. And the dream was that the baker had loaves of bread on his head and the wine steward has wine in a cup and that in three days they were going to be brought out and the baker was going to have his head cut off and the wine steward was going to be restored to his place. So his dreams were correct and that's what happened to them and at the end of the Parsha Yosef says to the butler why do you say it only to the butler why not to the baker? Remember me. Now, when Yosef goes into the boar, he's got all these dreams, and he's telling everybody, I'm going to be great. I'm going to be famous. I'm going to be your boss. We'll see next week what happens when he comes out of the boar. A boar is a bad place to be. And sometimes, in order to become better people, we have to go into a bad place. Okay, now... You can stay there. I'm going to show you. Last week we learned about how to wash your hands in the morning. This week I'm going to tell you how to wash your hands after the bathroom. Ready? It's very complicated. You have to go like this. You have to turn on. You have to turn on water. You have to make your hands wet like that. Put to use some soap. Although that's not a lot. You don't have to use a cup. You don't have to do it two times or three times. You just have to wash off your hands. But the part that comes next is, then we want to say a special prayer, a Sherry Tsar. And I'll talk about a Sherry Tsar next week. Now next, we have here. Olives. And the reason for this has to do with Hanukkah. We'll put these olives in here. These olives in here. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is how you make sufganil. If you like the olive flavored ones. Uh -huh. Alright, then we go in here and turn this on. Now everybody count to a thousand slowly. That didn't take too long. Okay, I'm going to show you the rest of that, What the reason I did this. Next Shabbos. Okay, next era of Shabbos. Now lastly, if you uh, head back to your... Uh, I have a magic trick. Okay, this is a hundred shekel. It's worth about $30. Actually, it's not truly a hundred shekels. It's a copy, photo, they put in the copy, and no. I'll tell you why, because what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this thing, I would want to do this with a real one, because it's a lot of money, I'm going to rip it, and rip it, and rip it, it's a waste, and rip it, it would be a waste if it were real, but it's not real, and now, I'm going to say, abracadabra, hoody wadi boo, and show you, it's whole again. What is this? Oh, there's another half. Ah, uh, I see. I had two of them, and one was folded over in the back, so when I got done ripping, and I hit it, and I came up and I went like that. Now, what you should do is go take Daddy's $100 bill out of his wallet. No, no. Okay, so that's about it now. I think that's everything. Love you all. Oh, we. Pita. This is our wheat. You can see how it's growing. And uh, this is the time of year in the winter when the wheat grows and then we harvest it in the spring. I'll have to hire uh, one of the Arabs to come with his knife. And cut it. Okay, so Shabbat Shalom.